I do folks, how you doing? Just a quick one. Now, pertaining to the last video I did, there's going to be an update shortly coming out on that one, but this one's a totally separate one and it's, uh, it's more dedicated to the people as opposed to the last one was dedicated to the aviators that are in the game. Now, uh, just to let folks know, uh, quite a while ago, about four months ago actually, I think it was, I was discussing the possibility of doing a tour and putting on a chat to folks. Now, uh, what happened to put the scuppers on that is my wife was diagnosed with cancer and she was pretty much at the stage where she only had a couple of weeks to live. Now, on this journey we've had, uh, folks, some folks may know that a couple of years ago I, I got told I'd got skin cancer and uh, I was in a right mess with my tab hole, with my ear. Uh, and as you can see now, bloody lovely. <laughs> so obviously I'd cleared that up using uh, only natural, natural methods. Now, my wife, she was in quite some mess, so it did really put a stop to most of what I was doing. Uh, made a mess of my own head and obviously her head. And we, uh, we had to make some serious decisions. Now, she'd asked me about a month ago if I'll take her on a last holiday. So uh, we'd booked to go away and uh, yeah, just over well, two and a half weeks ago or so the date came to go away but the day before we actually went away she got a call from the hospital. Now we'd used the hospital only for MRI scans and um, x-rays because she'd got bone cancer and literally her bones were breaking and the cancer was bursting through, it was a horrible mess. She had a broken arm and a bro broken rib and also a primary cancer that uh, they'd, they'd still yet to find. So we went straight to it uh, with the protocols and knowledge that I had over myself, that I'd already had, and also a couple of really good folks gave me some more information and, and some other protocols that we decided to add to it. Uh, ultimately, what happened, this phone call that came from the hospital, mysteriously out of the blue, um, no cancer. <laughs> so, uh, as you can imagine, well chuffed, uh, the no no uh, detectable signs of cancer only a broken arm remaining that was healing and the broken rib had had healed and uh, no sign of cancer throughout her entire body which was very strange to them um, but we weren't interested in going in for further tests uh, so they could find out why because obviously we knew why now I'm gonna jump forward again to where I started this video we uh, me and, and uh, Peter Gunn are going to be putting on a tour and we're going to go around discussing all sorts of issues of remedy, lawful, uh, the, educate a few folks in, in the real law, edu educate a few folks in solutions and, and also I'm going to be happy to discuss the word cancer as well. And, and what we've used, now obviously the system comes down, crushes anybody who has the audacity to say that they can cure cancer so uh, forgive me if my wordplay tells you that she, uh, she was diagnosed with cancer and now she's diagnosed as not having cancer <laughs> and the only thing in between is what we did so uh, so yeah and reality was she was in a terrible mess and uh, she was she was borderline probably a couple of weeks from death she was losing two pounds in weight a day and she'd got down to six and a half stone so uh, as you can imagine that doesn't leave very much because around about five five and a half stone you, your organs fail and you, you're as good as brown bread so we were only a couple of weeks away from uh, from her demise but now she's alive and well and doing pretty bloody good and obviously quite chuffed as I said so am I so uh, yeah, and, uh, and maybe I think we're thinking about uh, actually helping others if we can. I don't know what the situation is. We've got to try and create something where we can. Um, not everything that we use is something that we can say, here you go, do this and do that and the other. So uh, some of the things we use at home, I have a rife machine, as folks know, played a huge part in it. So uh, we are going to uh, be doing something to help others uh, so it is what it is but anyway that's where we are 
and that's what we're what we're planning to do um, I haven't got an actual date for when we're going to start this tour and I haven't got a first place location although judging by the feedback we got last time I spoke about it I did write down a couple of people that had contacted me and saying that that uh, they were ready to receive me in their area and there was a few people there so I'm probably gonna make contact there and, and make that the first point of call but off the top of my head I can't remember where it was like I say it was a real wonky time um, we just planned to do the tour uh, when we got this sort of uh, information on my missus so it kind of just blew everything wide open and it put a stop, absolute stop to what we we're going to do so reality is now she's fit and well we're going to get back on that and get a bit of a tour done because I know there are a lot of wonky fuckers out there and, and I'm finding that even from the last video I did a lot of people out there believe that they're heavy hitters and know absolutely fuck all and, and are leading people into real serious shit and uh, we're going to try and put some records straight and, and if we can put some solutions there but more to the point educate folks to what's really going on what the law really is uh, what the legal system really is the separation between legal and lawful the uh, futile nature of magistrates and expecting them to to stand under law and the conducting commerce as I say all the time there is no law being conducted within those places of business and if you're going there expecting any law to be uh, uh, to be taking place then you're obviously going to come unstuck so we anticipate a good tour uh, I don't know like I said I don't know the exact location of the first place and uh, we'll work it out and 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 this shit you know I, I get an itchy face and I get an itchy eye or something like that I scratch it and I get some fucktard telling me I'm putting Freemasonic hand signals up there and like <laughs> come on go fuck yourself <laughs> there's some fucking unreal people out there so uh, wake the fuck up Jesus Christ so yeah there are a lot of Freemasonic shills out there but if anybody if anybody believes that I'm Freemasonic material then you <laughs> then you're really not fucking looking into the real world are you but hopefully on the tour we'll be able to put some folks straight onto uh, the real world wake some folks up into the conspiracy theories and and truths as well because there's a huge difference between conspiracy theories and truths you've got the entire entire truth movement that uh, tries to create this separation and tell you that there's a big difference and there is a, a huge difference but unfortunately a lot of people that are in the truth movement as such fall for every fucking conspiracy theory that's put out there by the controlled opposition it's ridiculous it doesn't only lead people astray on the on the lawful processes also the shite that gets talked about out there uh, especially around about paedophilia and such like that and now I'm not saying it don't exist it absolutely does and it's absolutely shocking it's the one rabbit hole that I went down and turned around and came back out of before I felt like I'd completed my knowledge base on that realm I couldn't bear it and I'm not the sort of guy to sit there reading and looking at paedophilia it's it's absolutely shocking what you hear and what's been done in the world but unfortunately they know the controllers they know this is a, a point of, uh, of of real emotion and they know they can pull you in on every one so they get you so distracted by shouting about a new power word a new fucking term to come out with or a new uh, a new uh, bunch of parasites under a new label to use and you all just jump on it because you've heard it on a fucking YouTube video and then it suddenly starts getting plastered around the fucking Facebooks and Twitters and Telegrams and all the other fucking groups stop falling for shit stop falling for labels you know when you hear the new one and it's just riling you back up on the same shit that you was riled up on the last one just try and think a little bit are you being used are you being distracted are you being kept in that paradigm of fucking keeping you in that loop 
where you just keep going round and round and round being angry about the paedophilia. I mean, you should be fucking angry about the paedophilia, but if you can't as a collective, as the entire fucking world, get off your arse and deal with these parasites, why the fuck are you just going to fall for uh, the latest one and scream and shout about it constantly on Telegram and Facebook? You know, you see a thousand people posting it, but you've got to post it. A thousand people are already posting it. It's keeping it fresh in your mind. It's keeping you in that loop. It's keeping everybody in that loop. Now, there are some really good folks out there that go uh, hunting the, the paedophiles down and fucking good on them, so they should. It's just a shame you can't string them up, isn't it? But the reality is, there are some good folks out there doing something about it. But just posting bollocks all the time, thinking that you're, you're, you're creating awareness, you're not. You're absolutely not. You're creating that perpetual loop that keeps people there, keeps people distracted. And the reality is, there's some really serious shit going on in this world. And it's not just the paedophilia, as bad as that is, you've got the new world order slipping in and you've got folks so distracted on the small time, small world issues that this huge, huge issue that's coming at you at 100 miles an hour down the train track as you're sitting on there having a fucking picnic with your back to the fucking train, it's coming. Now, if people don't get off their arses very fuck shortly, they're an awful lot of shit. You, uh, you've only got to look at the plans that are coming ahead and look at this bollocks with Oxford. I mean, and the reality is, it's no different to the last fucking lockdowns. You know when they come in and say you've got to stay in your area, the dumb cunts will stay in the fucking area rather than all en masse getting in the motors and fucking off and saying fuck you. The reality is people are fucking stupid. People are just begging to be ruled. And in all honesty, people as a rule generally deserve what's coming because they're not doing fuck all about it like i say people need to get off their fucking arse people are too scared to put their head above the parapet they want somebody else to take all the fucking risk and they won't do it themselves and this is half the pissing problem well no it's 90 percent of the problem the fact that the people en masse won't do something about something and uh, there are good people that get involved and, and organize things and, and especially the rallies and such like, which do kind of get people together, but unfortunately don't actually make a difference. And this is why, going back to the last video, I had a call out to the heavy hitters to get to the table to actually discuss the real time issues and come up with real time solutions instead of more of the same that doesn't actually create a solution to the problem. Now, it had seemed that it would create a solution to the problem, wouldn't it? Bringing 100,000 people out into the streets. But unfortunately, nine times out of ten, they, they're only disrupting other people. They're not disrupting the system. Now, there was a politician a good few years ago that said, they said absolutely plainly in the open, if a couple of hundred thousand well-motivated people descended on Westminster and refused to leave, they could shut the entire country down. Now, I'm not saying that's the same situation, but the principle is there. If a, the right amount of numbers did the right sort of thing, and consistently, something may be able to be done about some of this shit that's going on. But the reality is, if people just get together, have a party atmosphere in the streets, disrupt normal people, normal men and women trying to go about their business, block streets and shit like that, then that's absolute controlled. Whether the people that started it are involved in it want it to be controlled or not, it absolutely is. That mentality is controlled. So I'm hoping some of these these good people who do actually want to do something about it will actually get together and round a table. It's, it's looking promising, we've got some good people in, uh, in talks at the minute, but whether we can get them to the table or not remains to be seen, and whether they're prepared and interested in finding a new way, a better way, or maybe they have some ways that we can all, all get on board with, I don't know. But the reality is, from what I see, there's nothing really happening that can actually put a stop to any of the bollocks at the minute. So uh, if something is that I'm not aware of, I'm open to hear about it. But I've, uh, I've had, like I say, a few good people contact me. I've also had a few fucking idiots contact me. So it is what it is. We'll, uh, we'll burst through it, we'll work through it, separate the wheat from the chaff and hopefully get the good ones to one side around the table and have a discussion and see if we can come up with a plan of action. The reality is most of what you believe, you people out there, bless your hearts, best for you, you're out here trying to work your way through this shit, some of you with little knowledge, but the most of the people that you're listening to aren't heavy hitters, they, you perceive them to be, 
but they're really not. They're not people out there that have got a clue. They're just people that are following other people's YouTube videos and making YouTubes about it, or stealing other people's processors and putting it out there, whether they're selling it or giving it, some are, some are doing each. But reality is, it don't make them heavy hitters because they're, they're not doing things on true knowledge. They're doing things on what others are doing and copying. And that doesn't always come out as the best course of action, does it, at the end of the day? So uh, we need people with real minds, their own minds, that can come up with solutions. And that, like I say, can come to a table and bounce the ball backwards and forwards, uh, which is how magic happens when you start sharing ideas and people with good knowledge and good thought processes on the system can start bashing ideas backwards and forwards it really does create magic those that just want to keep the little groups to themselves and not share any information no knowledge whatsoever it, it never goes anywhere now as far as me myself i have my own little groups and i do my own my own things in the private but the reality is all day every day I'm sharing knowledge I answer f so many emails on a daily basis answering questions giving knowledge giving solutions to problems for absolutely nothing and then you get the idiots go, oh, are you interested in his money no I charge for some certain things that I do the rest is straight out of my mouth anybody who knows me anybody who's ever asked me a question they'll always know that I answer it I never ever say I'm not telling you something I never ever I don't believe I've ever done that so reality is it is what it is people out there aren't always what you see uh, and I get a lot of people do realize that but sometimes people just follow people because they fell in love with their at attitude or atmosphere that they're creating but it don't always mean they know the shit so be very very wary anyway on that note folks I'm gonna bugger off I'm gonna put this out there and uh, like I say we're gonna get a, uh, a tour going very shortly and uh, hopefully just hopefully we'll uh, we'll get some knowledge imparted to people that uh, that can do something with the with what they're hearing unfortunately like I say again there are too many people doing nothing but blah blah and not enough people actually creating action now what we do need is everybody off their arse but I don't get everybody off their arse by holding the next meeting within a hall with an audience that isn't how it happens that is not how it happens at all because everybody goes away from that show thinking oh that was good we had a great time now it's fucking over what it does you, what it takes is getting the heavy hitters together to to find a common ground to find a way and then they can go away and push that new narrative that we're creating to actually make a difference so that's why I'm calling for the heavy hitters. But anyway, as I say, this video wasn't particularly about that, but I do bounce and I do scroll into things, so it is what it is. But have a good one all. I'm going to bugger off and uh, hopefully see you all soon. Maybe live if those that are interested will turn up. We shall see. Ta da!